three, two, one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I was too slow. You threw off my timing as well, goddamn. <laughs> Damn it! You throw off my my idea of just coming here and not like introducing anything and just like sitting here in silence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my plans ruined. <sighs> That's alright. That's tradition. That's okay. We'll try next week. We'll, try again. <laughs> we'll just sit here in silence and stare straight into our cameras. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> you know what you did. Oh yeah. See, the problem is, I want to play D and D, so we are not going to do that. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Because we are live, and it is episode thirty-five of Ghost Soul Mask tonight, which is great. Very much looking forward to dying tonight. I already had three crashes today, so we. We've got the crashes out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I also got another modem. I have a new one. <laughs> Again. Again. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be mm -hmm. fine. Everything's resolved. <laughs> D&D's over. All right, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> All right. Oh, see you later. <laughs> <sighs> God. <laughs> you are so keen to get that fourth map still. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Same. Oh. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, seeing so everyone's very keen to play some D and D and potentially some Vermintide, how about we jump straight into seeing what everyone's been up to, and then we'll go into talking about where the fuck or what the fuck we're up to, what we're doing, what happened last time, words, and then we'll we'll jump straight in. Um, I'm going to start with Blood. Hey. <laughs> what a well, surprise. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, come on. Thing. You you act like I do this every time. <laughs> I, went first two weeks I didn't. I did this like in three weeks in a row once. All right. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I, I wasn't doing much. <laughs> really? Uh... After I mentioned also to you, I decided to give it a go myself and... Still haven't checked that out. It's... Really easy to get into. Like, I mean, you just download the game, you don't need to install it, and that's it. <clears throat> You're already playing and losing also. Um, and also. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's really, easy. Hmm? really hard game. Uh, oh, okay. Besides yeah. that... I haven't been doing much as I said before, just working, exploring other role playing games. Alright. Oh, yeah. Today I was watching a review about a game, I think it was called Cavalry. It's basically a game involving mechs. If that makes any sense. Involving what, sir? You know, mechs? Like, uh, like Warfare Big Robots. robots. Yeah, like Warhammer. Oh, right? mechs. Sorry, I, I was yeah. struggling with the accent. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I do mechs. So yeah, there was one Ukrainian guy. He really likes mechs. And he wanted to play a role-playing games with those things. But I think there were a couple of games already, but he didn't like, like, a lot of things in existing games. So he decided to tweak them <laughs> a little bit. And he ended up tweaking so much that he decided to just create his own game system. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. So I you're approve. doing it wrong, I'm just making my own. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something I'll enjoy. <laughs> I like it. Now, at first he just, he just wanted to make like minor changes, like, oh, okay, look at this mechanic, I don't like it, but we'll just replace it with mechanic from this game. Yeah. And when, when they were like playing this, they realized that uh, when he and his friends were playing it, he realized that he like he doesn't like a lot more than one uh, mechanics in the old games. So yeah, he ended up <laughs> changing a lot of things. I like it. <laughs> That's dedication. Time to redo it all. I think that's how a lot of 
not a role game, play, uh, <clears throat> a role playing game, sorry. Created one second. Yeah. So I'll turn the music down because I cannot hear myself. I'm getting distracted. Sorry. Uh, I can't uh, hear myself think. Yeah. Besides that, I didn't do much. Alright. Uh, Boring cool. week. Job. <laughs> also, tabletop role playing games reviews. That's it. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Andy, what have you been doing? Nothing much. You know, after <laughs> bit of this, bit slamming, of that. Uh, yeah, been getting into a lot of pies. No. Um, you know, after having leave, I've just been working mainly. Haven't been getting up to much. Been lazy. It's hard going back. It is. Yeah. It so, is. Looking forward to the day off on Tuesday. Thank God. <laughs> Four day week, man. Four day week. That means more games. That's right. More gaming. More Stellaris. More Stellaris. Maybe time for some Like a Dragon. We'll see. Maybe for Wrath of the Righteous. Ooh, All nice. three on the run. <laughs> I know how you feel. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got stuck into Wrath of the Righteous and then I just like put it down because like some parts were just boring the crap out of me. Like the overworld um, army stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm going to put this down and come back to it. <laughs> Yeah, that's taken some time. I think my problem is I'm like at the point where I put the, the points into the ascensions sort of thing. Okay. And it's the choice has me paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like, what do I do? They're all so powerful. <laughs> Send me aside. <laughs> oh no. Next minute headache. <laughs> I'm just gonna play Mankind Divided until something <laughs> makes sense in this world. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Fair. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Alright. Alright. I like it. We'll go on to Scarabur then. Scarab, what are you been up to? Um. Not much. Um. Besides the dying. I got. Yeah, I. I. <laughs> I went out with a friend and I was like, you know what, let's have some tiramisu, this sounds like a good idea. And it really wasn't, because something about that tiramisu had gone off and I got solid food poisoning for the week, so... Ouch. <laughs> Today is the first day where I don't feel like throwing up, so it's all good. Um, other than that, really not much. I got irrationally angry at people not understanding um, basic <laughs> cybersecurity. <laughs> yeah. Really upset me. Um, other than that, yeah, not much. Would you Just... Would you like to explain why you got upset with people not understanding Man, cybersecurity? We had okay. We had like training in cybersecurity, and apparently I was the only person that could figure out which links were, you know, obvious scam links. And they're like, oh, but it says Amazon in in the link. Oh my god, there's a lot of things. That is not how it works. <laughs> and also, just, yeah. We, we had like a quiz at the end. And I beat them. I beat everyone else by such a big margin. I was like, this is horrible. <laughs> How, how have you all survived until now? And then we like had a chat about it, and they didn't. They pretty much all of them had gotten scammed before, and I was like, how? <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't understand. You heard it, kids. Don't be clicking false legs. <laughs> Man, just basic cybersecurity. It's not that hard, seriously. But yeah, that was that was fun, and it made me really angry. And I complained to Shadows about it for like an hour afterwards. <laughs> I was very dead from the day, and she's... <laughs> yeah. I was just off ranting about it. I was like, how is this so difficult? Uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, um, really not much going on. Mostly just dying and sleeping, and praying that I don't throw up. 
That is always a good thing. That is always a good thing. Oh, and I did on the weekend while you guys were playing D&D, I was just chopping wood and cutting down trees and fixing roofs because there had been a massive storm. Mm -hmm. And my family was like, we really need your help, please come! <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. But there... Uh... <laughs> I already promised I'd be, we really need your help! <laughs> Guess. It's alright. We, we somehow managed without you. Somehow. Actually, we did. My ass. We did pretty well, considering. <laughs> I did too well. We, well. we took out two lieutenants, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, we could have gone for third one, but we decided not to. <laughs> True. <laughs> we were too strong. It was great. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. Shall we talk about um, what occurred in episode 34? Does anyone yeah, recall? It would happen last time, many, many days ago. Uh, Stolgek has acquired the title of captain of the Crab Tank. Yes. I thought he already had that. that. <laughs> yeah. no, but now it's official. Oh, right, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> and anything else? Oh, damn it, I don't even have it set. Oh, oh fuck. There we go. Uh, now it's official. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm Hell pretty yeah. sure the cab tank thing is the only thing he remembers. I, I, I figured that, because it. it was like that just pause afterwards. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we found the dead kid in the what was a a wizard's tower in that in that mansion it was a bell tower a bell tower yeah and also tower. wizard's laboratory yeah yeah um and we found out what killed the kid we found out what happened to the wizard and why the undead have been attacking this place non-stop for the last 10 years pretty much <clears throat> we also found out the wizard that um was like there basically um went out to try and stop the undead as far as i know but he didn't um and he died i can't remember much about the story with the undead though like it was something about the captain's ship and then obviously it sunk and it created the rift yeah there was an evil pirate captain who was in league with the um, yeah, the the it's not a god, it's a demon, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Demon lord Orcus. That's it. Who is the demon lord of the undead, and who has you know his own plane of hell with all the undead people. Ah, oh, nice. And that guy was really spooky raided a bunch of uh, coastal cities, and he was basically heading for the island. But before he could reach the island, the clerics managed to summon Prokhan's help, who sent a big storm that sunk the ship. But the wizard was concerned that in doing so, it might have broken the seal on an ancient evil that had, you know, been sealed in the same area. And he wanted to go check that out. But before he had the chance, Undead attacked the island and murdered everyone. So we figured that out, and then I'm pretty sure we buried the kid, we slapped um, the tricks because he done something with the hag in which we still don't know, and now he's being a grumpy bitch about it, um, and basically we took our leave from the mansion um, and decided to go and find this sunken ship because I still really just want my bow. like I. Like, if I have to close this rift in the meantime, sure, but... Like, that gives me my bow! You call it your bow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, as far as I'm concerned, I made a deal with a shop owner who told me where the bow was. Therefore, it is my bow now. <laughs> first come, first serve, I guess. I made a deal with a dead person. <laughs> a deal is a deal! 
All right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Very dead. She even left me a note <laughs> with instructions. She, she does like to honor her promises. Or rather, she was just pissed and wants to kill the people she's pretty sure killed her. Either or. I'm getting a bow. Um, yes. So yeah, we ended up diving down towards the what was the sunken ship. We found the sunken ship and then we got into a fight with a bunch of drowned undead and that was pretty much where we stopped. Um, and Stolgerg yeah. is very eager to just kind of ram the ship into the ship. Mm -hmm. The tank into the ship, yes. It is something I um, want to do. As you... <laughs> As you dove down, you also noticed that the area got very cold and you are now all currently uh, vulnerable to necrotic damage, which is fun. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, so, Shulgeg is now a normal person. <laughs> Instead of being vulnerable, he's just normal now. Rude. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, are we meant to be um, on the Salt Marsh map, by the way? Sorry. Yeah, I'll move you in a second. I just moved you over there because I was doing stuff and I didn't want to mess up things. All right, cool. Um, also, I think last session you decided to leave the tank behind and dive down into the ship to because you saw some light coming from the, the bottom. Yeah, we wanted to sneak in. Um, yeah, but if you want to change it. that plan, then feel free to do so. Pick it up and the tank will do it like a I ca signal. I can't remember if we had actually got to a point where we agreed on what we were going to do. Because, like, I yeah. think... <clears throat> we ended up agreeing for it to it, but, you know. I believe so, yeah. It took us a while to... Now we've got time, we'll open the debate once more. So we're just stealthing in? That's, that's what we're going for? I think what we decided to do is that, like... Boris and Janice will sneak in, mm. and Stolgik will be on standby. Yeah, and like dash back, I think. Oh, that's right. We were going to basically loot. Sorry, if sorry. <laughs> anything bad happened, then we would just get Stolgik to slam his way through the ship, I suppose. Is, is, that, is that correct? Uh, I think that was the plan, yeah. So. If shit goes bad, he swims up, grabs the tank, and just comes barreling down. All right. Um, is there a chance we could take a short rest here? Uh, yeah. Hey, man, I can breathe out of water fine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if Hell yeah. you want to, then you can all take a short rest. That is yes, please. perfectly fine. Um, <clears throat> it is definitely not the most comfortable short rest you've ever had, because it is incredibly cold. And just... The, the magical energies of death around you just make, make you feel a bit sick to the stomach. Just not that... that happy, but you can rest, and you get some of your strength back. God. What are these rolls? <laughs> what are these rolls? Can I take the average on that too? Mm -mm. Damn it. <clears throat> not for short rests. For level ups, sure. Not for short rests. Fine. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, d d okay. Um, plus 18. So that's... I'll take it. That seems all right. <clears throat> That'll keep me going for now. I'm just going right. to read a book while I'm uh, resting. Underwater. <laughs> that's the problem I can't <laughs> it's too much seawater around it's gonna ruin my ale you don't understand how much pain I'm in right now I might as well be taking damage over time 
I'm, I'm sobering up here. Emotional damage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Oh, all right. You all start. You you had your miserable short rest, and you start <laughs> moving through the debris. Um, down the ship towards the bow that is um, buried into the ground, and you see that it has um, basically slammed through a cavern ceiling. And um, a pulsating light composed of unnatural colors permeates this underwater cavern. The stern of the ship has broken through the cavern's 15 foot high ceiling near the center of the area. The nauseating light reveals a hideous array of piled bones, many of which clearly once belonged to humanoids, far more bones than could have been accounted for by the crew of a single sunken ship. A shallow alcove opens up to the north, with a rotting sea chest set before it, leaning against a rough stone wall. Within the alcove, a funnel-shaped hollow in the cavern floor terminates at, terminates at a narrow hole in the bedrock below. The pulsating light emanates from this hole. That is what you see as you reach the bottom. Well, it's a little too bright for my liking. I'm just gonna swim my head and explode those things. <laughs> <laughs> you have dark vision. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just not really a fan of the, you know the setting here. You know it's. Whoever designed this place, you know, could have done a better job. I like it. I would like to carefully advance <laughs> forward, looking around, just to make sure we don't get, like, ambushed or anything. Alright, um... Can I do, like... That is your stealth thing? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna ready my bow as well, while Boris starts swimming ahead. Boris, give me a perception check, yes. please. I kind of feel like Titus bad. right now, playing Blitz Bowl. There's water in my eyes. That's not good. Yeah. You, you look around, <laughs> um, but it's surprisingly, even though there is technically, you know, nothing obscuring the view, the light kind of hurts your eyes and it just makes it difficult to, to look at stuff. Um, Can I, like... Would I notice Boris, like, kind of looking around, but, like, looks like he's not really finding anything? Um... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you even see him right now? Because <laughs> he's on the other side of a wall. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so, there you go, then. There I go. All right. Wow. I'm gonna start swimming out. Alright. Careful, Jenny. Yeah. You see a bunch of rubble, bits of broken ship, and a lot of bones. Like, an obscene amount of bones. The kind yeah. of amount of bones that you have when a horror game set designer just goes completely overboard. So, and basically, just... this is the boss room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're telling me. <laughs> it just chucks in an obscene amount of skulls and bones of various creatures. Um, definitely not all of them are humanoid. You also see like whale skeletons and. <laughs> I mean, a part other... of me would like to, you know, like ooh, fancy chest and run to it. But I've played Dark Souls. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Um, I would like to look around and just uh, see if there's anything, I don't know, anything off about this room. Give me, aside from the evil aside glowing Aside from the hole, evil glowing hole. Her eyes are just constantly drawn to the evil hole. Oh my god, Boris, you gave me guidance. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? <laughs> like, judging by the perception check that I did, I would say that Boris would like notice all the skulls and like his force of habit would kick in from the like time he was working in the temple and he would just go like 
through like every skull and just bless everyone. Oh, rest in peace, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> one amulet after another. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, Brokham, bless you. Hey, whoever this is, bless you too. <laughs> uh, that Boris. is a lot of work that you have uh, in front of you. But yes, you you can do that. Boris. Uh, uh, what? I'm busy, what do you... I would say tread lightly, but uh, swim lightly. We don't know what's in this room, all right? Stoke it! Oh, okay, well, that's right, you're in the tank. <laughs> watch. Should we check out the hole? Wait, wait, I, I, I'm almost done with this side. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, really not. <laughs> I, just, I just look at him and I just like shake my head and then I'm just gonna start moving towards the hole like, all right, this buffoon is busy. <laughs> All right, hold it right there, please. Damn it, I fucking knew it. It's a <laughs> boss room, I tell you. <laughs> as as you move closer into the center of the room, um, you see in front of you the big bone pile just start to sh like explode outwards, and you see two of those lovely zombies that you have been fighting all time long um, make the way out.